Okay, so despite a lot of players on tour hitting the ball left to right with a fade, it still gets quite a bad name, but here's why. So when most high handicappers or amateurs hit in a fade, they tend to do it and you see this and you'll call it over the top or a slice club comes down very steep. You probably get a little bit scoop here, impact, and it's like a really weak ball flight that doesn't travel anywhere, which is another reason um, players think all fades go very, very short. Um, they don't have to. So if you looked at YouTube in the last decade and you might have heard the word shallow in, shallow doesn't mean draw, okay? This is just steep, this is shallow. Now we can still be hitting a fade with a shallower position with the club as we approach impact. So for most of you that are hitting slices and fades by going this way and steep, we can hit a fade by having the club slightly shallower, but still moving around and down to the left some amount. So if we're looking at just before impact in here, let's call this quite neutral with the club heading along my hands. Club head out that way is going to be more of a fade bias position, depends on the direction you're swinging it, and club head over here is going to be more of a draw bias position. So if we're setting this stick up like that, I'm still going to try and hit a fade, but I'm not going to do it in this fashion because that's not a great strike. Um, I'm going to do it with the club somewhere here, a bit shallower, but still moving across to the left. So we'll see what flight I get here. Now with the stick at that angle, if I was a bit shallower, it's avoiding me doing that and then pushing the club path out even more to the right. So we're going to watch club path, which is a number on the left-hand side, probably behind me, but I'll move out of the way. And we'll see if I can get that some amount to the left. And if I can control the club face, it should be fading. So club path, a small minus. The face angle, a small minus as well. But not as much as the club path. So if that had been a plus number on the face angle, so face pointing right, would have missed right. Now, you see there, one other thing we throw in briefly. I'm swinging seven degrees to the left this way. Club's only moving four degrees to the left because I'm hitting still on the down part of the swing. So I was swinging that left despite the stick being, you know, I can't go left that way. My club through impact was still going left but a lot shallower than you might hit a fade this way. So if you are trying to hit the ball left to right or you're getting a bit steep with your fade, you can shallow it out and this visual is not a bad way of doing it. If you really didn't like your fade or you're trying to move more towards a draw and how you go about shallowing that out, speak to your coach or why you can't do it in the first place, speak to your coach, there'll be lots of reasons. If you're looking to go to more towards the draw, we just change this angle here. Now it depends on your club face, I can't just swing this way and leave the face open, that's going to be a push fade. So your club face will need to change, but now at this angle, I'll see if I can get the ball going the other way. So I've got a bit more room in here, I can exit a bit more to the right, because the stick's not in the way. That would be hard to exit right, this one's completely fine, and we'll see if this can move right to left. So club pass going the other way, still hitting down. I've changed my overall swing direction, which is quite neutral now. So it's quite a straight swing. Because I'm hitting on the down part of the swing, which is here, the club's moving to the right, despite my overall swing being quite neutral. Control the face, balls move the other way. So there's a reason why you're going to be over the top, a steeper fade. Work out that first, and then if you need to change it, where do you need to place the stick? <laughs> 